Here's a really easy way to fix the edges of masks inside of Lightroom and Camera Raw and stay tuned to the end for a special announcement. We like the sky and the ocean, but we want to reduce the silhouette in the foreground. So let's grab the masking tool and then we're going to choose select subject. Now the AI will make a selection around the gazebo, but we also want to include this foreground area. So the red area is the area that's going to get adjusted. So we want to add to it. So we're going to click add and we're going to grab the object. The object tool works in two modes. It can either be a selection or we can choose the brush. We're going to use the brush. And what we're going to do is just roughly paint over the area we want to keep. Now Lightroom or Camera Raw, depending on which one you're using, this tutorial works on both, will make an AI selection based on what we did there. So we're just kind of telling it, hey, this is where we want to select. It's done a pretty good job. Looks like it's missed a little bit. So we're just going to add here and use a brush. And we're just going to paint in this area. Get our selection. All right. So why don't we go ahead and increase the exposure just a little bit and we're going to open up the shadows a bit. I don't have to go a lot with this. So we see the problem is the silhouette around this foliage because it wasn't able to get a great selection. So we can fix this with range masking and other tools, but I want to show you a really simple way of fixing this really easy to use. And if you're getting any value out of this video, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose to subtract and then we're going to grab the brush. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure the feather is all the way up and I'm going to hit the right bracket key to make that brush bigger. So we want a nice big brush. If you see the two rings, the inner ring is where the brush is. The outer ring is where the feather goes. We want a nice feather. And what we're going to do is we're going to run that feather across the areas that we want to fix. But there's an additional thing we want to do is we want to turn on auto mask and this auto mask. See where the pin is in the middle where it shows the minus. It's going to sample that color and it's going to protect those edges. All right. So let's go around here. Notice what happens as we start to just go around. Look at this. See how it's just going in there and just fixing all those areas around the foliage. as long as we're just hitting that edge, notice it's not really affecting the foliage. It's not darkening it. We're just fixing the edge of that mask. Let's even go in here. Look at this. Now, what we want to do for these smaller areas is just hit the left bracket key, make the brush a little bit smaller and just continue. We could even get in here. And if you look at that, see how simple it was to fix. This wasn't a very technical method, really simple to use, but very effective. And sometimes simple is the best way to go. And I said to be a special announcement right now, I'm middle of doing a comprehensive course on masking inside of Lightroom and Camera Raw. I think you guys are going to love it. More information coming soon. So stay tuned and drop a comment and let me know if you found this video useful or learned anything new. And check out my other video here where I show you the newest features inside of Lightroom. And if you're new here to the cafe, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any of my videos. Until next time, see you at the cafe.